For today's art lesson, we're going to be reading the book, Why is Blue Dog Blue? And we are going to be making our very own Blue Dog paintings and drawings. Why is Blue Dog Blue? A Tale of Colors by George Rodrigue. Hello, my name is George and I'm an artist. I have been painting since I was five. I paint pictures of things I like. One of my favorite things to paint is Blue Dog. Why is Blue Dog blue? Artists don't have to paint things the way they really are. I use my imagination to paint my own world. I can paint a dog any color I can imagine. So why is Blue Dog blue? Well, the truth is that Blue Dog isn't always blue. Sometimes I paint Blue Dog red. Other times I paint Blue Dog yellow. Occasionally, I paint Blue Dog green. Once in a while, I paint Blue Dog orange. I never paint Blue Dog purple, except for when I do. I can paint Blue Dog rainbow. But most of the time, I paint Blue Dog blue, which brings us back to the same question. Why is Blue Dog blue? Maybe it has to do with what I think about when I paint. What color do I paint blue dog when I go fishing? Salmon. What color do I paint blue dog when I want a hot dog? Mustard. <laughs> what color do I paint blue dog when I bake a pie? Mm, cherry. What color do I paint Blue Dog when I go to the beach? Tan. <laughs> what color do I paint Blue Dog when I fall in the swamp? Moss green. You notice anything different about Blue Dog's tail this time? What other colors can I paint Blue Dog? Magenta, lavender, Cajun, violet, apricot, burgundy, periwinkle, alabaster. What color do you think alabaster is? Can you see it? I think it must be white, huh? Aqua, gray, chocolate, avocado, ebony, mauve, turquoise, chartreuse, auburn, khaki, emerald. Very pretty, but still not blue. Blue dog is blue. Why, 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 look in the sky. Blue dog is everywhere like the sky. That's why. Do you think that's the artist when he was a little boy? So George Rodrigue, it says, was born in Louisiana in the United States. So you're going to have a little paper like this and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to try to add his eyes and his mouth. So go to the middle of the two triangles and you're going to put a circle. If you want to put a dot in the middle, you can. And then we're going to go a little ways over and put a circle with the dot. And now we're going to try for his nose part. It's kind of two lines coming down. So we're going to start with two lines coming down. And then do you see how it goes out? We're going to go out. See how that one goes out? Out. And then see how it kind of goes around? You can connect it. And then we're going to add an oval here for his nose. And if you want, you can color it in. And that's our blue dog. You can leave it just like that, or if you wanted, you could connect the top. Okay. If you want to add, you notice in a lot of his paintings, he's got more than one blue dog. So if you want to draw another blue dog, if you want to put another one, we just traced, well, I drew this for you. We just traced it on here. You could trace another one, or you could try to draw one yourself, or just work on the one blue dog that you have. Remember, you want to try to give Mr. Brush a nice relaxing bath in between colors. That way it doesn't turn all brown and dirty, kind of like this one has gotten a little bit mixed. 
But the first thing you're gonna do is make sure, remember, well, you're gonna get Mr. Brush wet and you're gonna get a lot of water and a little paint. So it shouldn't be gooky. If it's too gooky, then you just need a little bit more water. And we're gonna paint your blue dog, just like the story, you can choose any color that you want to paint your blue dog. And then when we're done painting our blue dog, we're gonna do the background with some oil pastels. If you don't want to get paint in the eyes, just try to go slow. Even if you're going slow, you might get a little paint in the eyes, but your best bet is to go slow around the big shapes that you don't want to be the main color. So see how his nose is still white? So I'm just going to leave the nose white. And if your paint is a little bit dark, then you can just take your brush and dip it right back in the water. Now that I'm done painting, I'm gonna use some oil pastels to color a fun background for Blue Dog. You guys can do it however you want. Enjoy using the oil pastels. They're nice and creamy and they're really bright, so they're really fun to use.